You know, I have been asked and told that, come on, what is this story about five years and ten years for crypto? Why can't we have it now? You know, there's a big difference what we want to create. If we want to create a speculative tool just to buy and sell and to pay, play with the price, that can be done very fast, that can be done very, very easily. But crypto is meant to be money, it is meant to be a unit to transfer value from one person to another. Money is something that, that we people, we need to be able to rely on. We need to know what the value is. We need to be able to, to trust it. And the only way how to do it is to have stability. Now, having stable price is the key. Where does it come from? For fiat money, stable price came from, initially, it came from gold. It was backed by gold, so we always knew what was the value of the money we had. But now, the stability of fiat money comes actually from the community, the size of the community. Cryptocurrency doesn't have that community yet. So that is the reason why it takes time to actually build up a proper currency. People need to trust it and people need to be able to use it. They are both tied to stable price. When the price fluctuates, it goes up, of course everybody is happy. In the end of 2017 and, and in the beginning of 2018, everybody was stoked about the price of, uh, of, of cryptocurrency. <laughs> everybody was buying, all kinds of people were buying. But now, within, within the year of 2018, the prices have come down a lot and, and people are disappointed. People are losing faith. Of course, there are supporters who, who accept the loss and, and who, who understand that prices go up and they come down. But the majority needs something that is stable. The majority does not want to play and risk with their money. So the only, only solution how to really build up a cryptocurrency is to have a massive community. Massive community can only be when, people, when regular people can feel secure. And that's the stability. Now, stability comes from a big community. And this, it's, it's not possible to, to build up something very big overnight or within half a year or within one year. For this reason, you know, crypto has been coming for the, for the past 10 years and it will be coming for the, ne for the next five to 10 years. All of us, all of the people right now in the crypto community, they are early adapters. It's not the ones that, that uh, entered the, the industry five years ago. Even people entering now, they're early adapters. It will take minimum five, in some countries 10, 15, 20 years to understand and to really adapt cryptocurrency. So it is wrong to say that somebody has missed the train. No, we haven't. The, the train is just coming and, and I think right now is, is the right moment when to start reading about crypto, doing the research, getting involved. But it's important to get involved in the cryptos that, that really want to create something, want to make a difference and have a really long-term vision and goals. Only these ones are the ones that, that, that can and will really succeed. So get involved in cryptocurrency, read about it, educate yourself and bear in mind, it takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. Forget about the promises, forget about the marketing that it will happen now and, and, and you will become super rich in, in half a year or one year. You know, it's long term. Take it four or five years, maybe even up to 10 years. Crypto is the thing that, that can generate massive wealth, but only for patient people. Don't jump here or there. Go for the long term and there will be the results. As, as we have a different, different approach from other cryptocurrencies, an approach that, that will create stability and, and gives people an understanding how the value really grows, where it comes from, it's, it's very easy to understand. It's about the size of the user community, the size of the merchant community and the ecosystem. So the ecosystem is something that 
we ask the company take care of and, and also if there are other outside developers who want to participate more than welcome. The idea of the ecosystem is, is to give DAG coins all the possibilities that regular fiat money has. Whatever financial services, whatever uh, uh, purchase options, everything what people can do today with regular money, they need to be able to do with cryptocurrency. They need a no-brainer to switch from fiat to crypto. Now, the merchant community and the user community, you know, they go hand in hand. Of course, the user community has to be the first and then comes the merchant community. But these are now factors that the network can, can support and where the network effect kicks in really well. Spreading the word, spreading the information about the real benefits of cryptocurrency, why it is good, how to use it, uh, how it will benefit you. This is the key. Spread the good word, get people involved, build the community. And, and this is the task for the network. To go out, to work, to support, to build the community. And this helps to actually build up the, also the, the value of the coins. So it's a win-win it's a solution. So building the user community and through that growing the merchant community. So the growth of the value of the coin, in simple words, is the responsibility of the network. If the community grows, the value grows. If the community shrinks, the value shrinks. So we all need to go out there, expand the community, get more people involved, get more merchants, get more businesses involved, and that's how the value will grow. That's how we can make sure that we will build the biggest currency. That's how we can make sure that our money is in the right place. There are people who already have free coins in their wallets. Now, we also have free coins. Out of all of the coins that, uh, that we have created, 5% we give, keep uh, with the company for the employees and the developers, uh, outside contributors, advisors. And I know exactly what I'm going to do with my coins. I will keep them for a very, very long time because I know that crypto is something that, that is the future of, of our, our financial world. I believe in the future every government will have their own and then there will be some car uh, currencies that are globally usable. I believe ours is one of those globally usable currencies. And I see that in the future the value is much, much, much higher. I don't even think about exchanging or selling them because I know that in the future I will just start using the coins. So if the question is what to do with the free coins, then I would say hold them. See after four or five years where we have reached, what is the value, in which places you can use it, how widely we have, uh, we have managed to spread around, across the world. See then whether you want to exchange them, whether you want to start using them or whether you want to uh, hold them for longer. Because I believe that the biggest growth will, will come somewhere between five to ten years. When when the majority of the world has, uh, has adopted cryptocurrency. That is, that is the sweetest, sweetest time because that is when, when it's, it's most widely spread and, and, and you can see people using crypto everywhere. That is the time that I am looking forward to.